Let's talk about five underrated, not well-known, and economical ski areas about two hours or less from the Twin Cities. What's going on Midwest skiers and riders? Matthew Zabranski with MidwestSkiers.com and one of the things that I love about being in the Midwest is how many ski areas we have within our region. In fact, we have over 115 different ski areas which is second most of any other region in the United States. So today I wanted to talk about five ski areas that you may or may not have heard of that in my opinion deserve a little more awareness among Midwest skiers. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you smash that like button and let me know in the comments below as there are plenty more of these types of ski hills that we can cover in future videos. But without further ado, let's dive into this one. Number one, Bruce Mound. Bruce Mound is a ski area located in Maryland, Wisconsin, which is just south of Eau Claire and just over two hours from the Twin Cities. This ski area is operated by Clark County and offers 10 runs and 375 feet of vertical drop, all serviced by one chairlift and four surface lifts. But this is a prime example of a ski hill that outskis its stats by a long shot. The terrain at Bruce Mount is some of the best in the region and is only rivaled by ski areas much further north. The beginners area has some great terrain for those just getting into the sport, but where this ski area shines is its more advanced terrain. Off of the chairlift you will find a blue run called Half Moon that wraps around the backside of the hill, but runs such as All the Way, John's Run, and Silent Hill offer up some great grooming pitches with some excellent side hits along the way. If tree skiing is what you're chasing, check out the area between Half Moon and Sunny Slope after some fresh snow for some awesome tree laps. Onlookers right of the hill you will find some awesome terrain coming in the form of Curious Gorge and Gorgeous Gorge, both of which have plenty of great natural features including cliffs, outcroppings, and glades. Bruce Mount offers up night skiing and tubing as well. They have a great chalet with cheap beers, and I mean, what else could you ask for? Another great thing about Bruce Mount is that you will rarely find crowds here, even on holiday weekends. And with lift ticket prices ranging from $24 to $34, this is a great spot to hit when looking to escape crowds or on your blacked out holiday weekends. Overall, Bruce Mount is a must hit that is affordable and has some amazing terrain for advanced skiers and riders. Given its terrain, it's a great place to head on those rare powder days or on a Friday after a midweek storm since they are usually closed midweek. Number two, Coffee Mill. Coffee Mill is a ski area located in Wabasha, Minnesota, which is about an hour and a half from the Twin Cities. This ski area offers 14 runs and 425 feet of vertical drop, all serviced by two chairlifts and one surface lift. Coffee Mill's location right next to the Mississippi River offers up some great views of the surrounding bluffs, but on top of that, this location also gives the area some really unique terrain. Shaped in a bowl, although this ski area doesn't have tons of runs, they have a great variety of pitches ranging from longer gentle runs, such as Chippewa Connect to Chippewa, to more aggressive pitches such as Oh Shoot, which is their signature run. Another great trail is Run of the Mill, which has a more moderate but consistent pitch and takes a fun dog leg to the skier's right and offers some great turns along the way. Similar to Bruce Mountain, Coffee Mill's steeper terrain is great on those rare powder days. This coupled with their low crowds makes this the perfect place to catch a powder day or on a holiday weekend. Coffee Mill offers up night skiing and one of the best food deals out there, a beer and a brat for just six bucks. And speaking of value, with daily lift tickets ranging from $20 to $45, this is a great day trip option for those looking for something different than their local Twin Cities Hill. Overall, Coffee Mill offers up some really unique terrain and has a great vibe that is definitely worth the visit, especially if you live in the Twin Cities area. Number 3, Christie Mountain. Christie Mountain is a ski area located in Bruce, Wisconsin, which is just over two hours from the Twin Cities area. This ski area offers 33 runs and 350 feet of vertical drop, all serviced by one chairlift and five surface lifts. Christie Mountain is one of those rare ski areas that you're surprised more people don't know about. They have a great variety of terrain and even marked cliff drops, which is something very rare in the Midwest. Right under the chairlift you will find a variety of nicely pitched runs such as Beast, 
Porcupine, and Grizzly, and although there is some run out at the end, these runs offer up some quick and fun chairlift laps, but if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, do not skip the T-Bar. Located on lookers left of the hill, the T-Bar never has crowds and offers up endless laps on some of the best runs at Christie Mountain. The Edge, Lynx, and Wildcat all provide great turns, and I have to say there's definitely something special about riding up that old T-Bar lift line. Christie also offers up a variety of glades such as Timber Pup, Timber Wolf, and Maple Grove. And although these aren't extremely large in size, they offer up some great turns in the trees, especially after some fresh snow. On top of all of this, Christie has a really nice park layout with its own dedicated high-speed rope. They also offer tubing and night skiing as well. Daily lift tickets will range between $36 and $48, but they also offer specials as well. In the chalet, you will find cheap eats along with great beer pricing, rounding out this ski area really nicely. Overall, Christie is a great little ski hill that offers a little bit of something for everybody and is a great change of pace compared to ski areas that are closer to the Twin Cities Metro. Number 4, Elm Creek. This is one that a lot of you probably already know, but if you don't, you really should, especially if you love park riding. Elm Creek is a ski area located in Maple Grove, Minnesota, just minutes from the Twin Cities. The ski area offers six runs and about 70 feet of vertical drop, all serviced by five surface lifts, but you don't go to Elm Creek for the stats. Elm Creek serves two major types of skiers and riders, beginners and park rats. Highland Hills is a name that has risen to the top for park riders across the Midwest. Well, meet its younger and kind of cooler brother, Elm Creek. Elm Creek is operated by the Three Rivers Park District, the same district that oversees Highland Hills. In fact, every season they do a feature swap, which is always a lot of fun, but the point is, these guys know how to build great parks. Unlike Highland, however, Elm has a much chiller vibe with mellower features that creates a perfect spot for beginner park rats or just anybody that wants to ride solid park features without the snake or be snaked attitude that you find at Highland Hills. What Elm lacks in vertical feet, they make up with in features, cramming something for everybody across their small footprint. Features are really well maintained and switched out regularly, meaning that you'll always find something new and to look forward to at Elm Creek. And since their park is serviced with two high-speed rope toes, it adds up to the perfect place for low-key park laps just minutes from the Twin Cities. Elm is also great for those beginners that are just looking to get into the sport as they have a carpet and handle toe with a wonderful slope for those first-timers. This coupled with the fact that tickets are just $17 and rentals $20, it makes for a cheap, convenient, and easy way to introduce someone to the sport. On top of this, Elm Creek has a beautiful spacious chalet and offers night skiing, cross-country skiing and tubing, so pretty much something for everybody. Overall, is Elm Creek a place that you're going to spend an entire day lapping groomers? Of course not, but if you want to teach a buddy how to ride and want to take a few solid park laps yourself, you can't beat the vibe, price, and location. Number 5, Como Park Ski Center. Como Park is a little known gem among the Midwest ski community. Located right in St. Paul inside Como Park, this small ski hill offers some great value for those looking to get into the sport. The ski hill sits on the Como Golf Course around the green of hole number one to be exact and offers roughly four runs and 100 feet of vertical drop all serviced by two double rope toes. Como is by no means a big hill, even under Midwest standards, but it's the perfect place for someone looking to experience snowboarding or skiing for the first time and they're on a tight budget. Tickets are just $15 and rentals another $15, meaning for just $30 you can try the sport of skiing or snowboarding any day of the week. And yes, even on holiday weekends. Better yet, if you go on a Friday, you can get a rental and ticket for just $20. This means whole families can come out and ski for the price of a single lift ticket at some of our bigger Midwestern hills. And although Como is small in size, it skis a lot bigger than you would think and has some solid pitch. They also have a small terrain park with a variety of features that anybody can have a blast on. Best of all, the hill is often empty, meaning that as you practice your skills as a newer skier or snowboarder, you'll have plenty of space to do so. And although the pitch is a bit steeper than some other beginner hills, luckily there is plenty of run out to give those straight shooters plenty of space to slow down. Just make sure you save some energy as you'll have to make the par 4 walk back to your car. Overall, Como Park Ski Center is a hidden gem for anybody looking to try out our sport. Of course, avid skiers and riders aren't going to spend an entire day here, but you would be surprised how much fun you can have on a small hill helping others experience the sport for the first time. 
But there you guys have it, five underrated, not well-known and economical ski areas near the Twin Cities. If you want to check out more ski areas like this near you, be sure to take a look at our comprehensive guide at midwestgears.com slash resort guide. But until next time, I hope all of you guys have a great week, pray for snow, and I'll see you guys out there.